We've seen how we could create the circuits for two DC motors and a servo. You'll need to recreate these, go through, then we're going to have a look at doing some coding. Now the only thing that I've really changed in here is I'm running this motor on pin 11 this time and this one on pin 3. There's a little tilde mark in front of each of these and that indicates that this is a pulse width modulation. That's going to let us later on be able to control these motors with some sort of speed. For the moment we'll leave it exactly as it is, we're just going to be turning them on and off, but I have changed it to be able to work off those pins that have got pulse width modulation, which you can see by that tilde. So we're going to use 3 and 11 for our programming at the moment. We've still got our servo sitting on pin nine so we've got both of them wired up now at the moment so what you're going to be doing now is trying to write some code that will control two motors and a servo so obviously we're going to rotate our servo the servo motor remember is in control of what's going on with our steering and it was on which pin pin nine so we'll change that to nine straight away and uh, going straight ahead that is being able to steer, we're going to be at 90 degrees. And then we, if we want to turn all the way to the right, we're going to go to zero, and all the way to the left, we're going to go 180 degrees. So just have a look at that. So if I run my simulation, okay, so that's my straight ahead at 90 degrees sitting there at the moment. Click on stop, and it's come back to the zero. Okay, so with our code, Whenever we're wanting to steer, we're going to be putting in a value here for the servo pin on 9, remembering that the uh, servo pin is going to be the one that is going to do all of our steering. So let's just grab that pin back again, rotate servo. And the next thing we want to do is we want to be able to set our motors to work. So we've got two motors that we're going to be turning on, and we're going to turn them high set pin my left motor here is on pin 11 so I'm going to set pin 11 to high that's going to turn that one on let's just check that that works so that one's turning there this one's not turning and my servo has turned round to the side we can see that there we'll click stop and uh, then we want to turn the other one on as well and that was on pin 3 so let's turn that on too. Okay, so I've got both turning at the moment and we're going to stop again now. So, what's up next? Well, okay, sorry, the servo's gone back to zero. That should be on pin nine there. Now, um, we are going to just be thinking about putting in some wait statements, uh, how long it's going to wait uh, before it does something. Another thing we could also do is we could turn on a, one of our little LEDs here so we could have the built-in LED uh, so we know that we're actually running. We can have that turning on to go high. Let's turn all of those on now. There we go, we've got the LED on, the servo's turned round, we've, we're running our different speed there. Let's come and have a look and see what's happening. Okay, and the stop. Okay. Start it again. We go. It's turned round and it's jumped back. Uh, it's not sticking in position at the moment. Um, so, what we're going to want to do now is think about. Uh, this is partly because of the amount of power that's being taken out. Uh, we want to be thinking about how long we're going to want to have a motor on in a particular direction at a particular time. Okay. So. Uh, your job now, once you've created this full circuit, is to be thinking about the length of time that you're going to have um, one motor on or two motors on, remembering that we've got to select each of the motors, so that was pin 3 and it was pin 11, and then you're also going to have to think about the selection of your servo in terms of what angle you're wanting to be driving at for any particular time. So create your circuit and then think about how long you want it to be going in one particular direction. 
So uh, we're in seconds here, so I'm going to change that to maybe, uh, well, 60 seconds. So it's running for, for one minute in that direction. And then I might need to have my servo uh, there. And then we might need to come back and say, right, I'm now going to need to change my direction. So I'm going to come down to pin 9. And I want that to change now instead of it being going 90 I want it to go at uh, 45 degrees so I want to have a little bit of a turn and watch and see what actually happens with that uh, my motors are still going aren't they they've still kept on going uh, we've waited that length of time it's come along but uh, we want to now continue going uh, with the um, new bearing or well that would just keep on turning round and round in a circle wouldn't it so we've got to only have it turned for a certain period of time and then we're going to need to straighten up so we want it to turn but uh, for a very short period of time we might, might want to be in milliseconds so we might want that to be about 100 milliseconds and then we want to return to the 90 degrees so we're going to come back to that 90 degrees remembering again that it is pin 9 and that's now got to be back to 90 degrees because we've straightened up and we're on our new bearing and we're continuing with our motors going on uh, and we might want to continue now for another 60 seconds we'll just say 30 seconds uh, to see us moving on and I think we'll actually um, just leave it at that for the moment. Let's try that simulation now. So we'll move the code out of the way, try my simulator. So we're initializing. We're going now at 90 degrees. So we're going straight ahead. My motors are turning. And after that one minute, we're going to turn a little bit. It's going to be a very brief turn. We'll run for 30 seconds so far. So we've run for 48 seconds. We're coming up to the point where we should see our server change. Remember, we were going to continue for 60 seconds in one direction. Should change now. There it goes. We had a very quick change. Would that be enough to make it go in a new bearing? That's the thing that you will be calculating when you are uh, testing your model out. So it's now going in its new direction. Remember the uh, rudder or the steering wheel or whatever it is has been turned for a short period of time. You'll have to decide for how long you would need to have it going in that direction before it straightens up. Okay, so create the circuit, put your pins in and then start thinking about how you would be able to control your device, your vehicle to be able to go and then go and have a think about the shape of Lake Wakatipu and where you're going to be going to from Kingston to get down to Queenstown and think about what you might have as part of your course.